Yes, how are you doing? How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. It's a little bit too cold. I was going to make this video. I waited and I was like, man, it's getting late. And uh, I was going to make this video outside, but I decided not to because it's just a little bit too cold. It's supposed to be 80s um, Wednesday, so if we're still here. But as we, we watch, here's the... People are saying that some people are saying the 17th. High watch for me. We will see. Watching 26th all the way up to June 10th. But highest watch right here. This is the uh, eclipse full moon right here. We will see. This would be seven days. This We could be in the arc seven days. Before something really horrible happens. Who knows. But. I'm going to this video right here. I'm going to go off my last one. Which is. The 19th and 20th. Just for an update. On the 7th. The Russians. This sub right here. Russia just built a new sub. They just sent it to the Northern Fleet, which is the Arctic. It says, get, gets priority in new ballistic missile subs. It says right here. Delivered to the Northern Fleet instead of the Pacific. And this thing left on the 7th, and it's already there, because where their dock is, is... In Russia on the northern side so it's right by the it's right by the Arctic so this is their new new sub they just sent it out on the 7th they christened it and uh, this was on the 7th so that I was just giving you update on this I had a lot more information on this but it's really irrelevant I mean we know that they're you know, making, as they say here, they're making it a priority. This is going to be the first part of my video. In uh, the next part, of the rest of it, at the end, I'm going to go over um, what I believe is going to happen in uh, after this part right here. But Also, too, I have a Facebook page that I just opened up. My son no longer wanted it, so I, uh, and if you want to communicate with me faster, I mean, it's kind of like late in the game. I post stuff on there, um, and this is for, if you're family or friends, this is my Facebook, just, I, like I said, this is kind of late in the game, <laughs> like I said, if we're gone, but, uh, I just, right here, it's Psalms 91. And then right here I put verse 10, which is no evil. Put your, you know, us that put our faith in the Lord. There's, I've, I've been trying to put stuff on here about things that are going on in the world. And uh, like I said, the plague, no plague will come near your dwelling. There's no, no reason to take the jab. I've been trying to tell family members, you know, through, through putting this on my Facebook page, but Anybody wants to go on here, um, like I said, here's my Facebook page. There's some people that uh, that already, like Wolves in Sheep Clothing right here. I put this in here. Um, and, of course, the video right here. This one right here. And I do have some more stuff about this. I saw Jacko's video on this. Which was Jane's, Jane, Jane, love you Jane. I know you always put good comments. Um, but let's just get over this right here. Right here. The horseshoe is on the 19th right here. Like you saw down there, horseshoe, the 19th. I did notice that Nipet Goat, there was a Horus Eye right here. Right here. In this scene right here. Before the babies be born. Or 
or whatever. Um, there is a Horus Eye right there. Um, right here. This is what's going on right now. Um, the Arabs, the Muslims are uh, rising up against Israel. Now, what I wanted to say is we could see, and I have talked to my friend, RJ, about this. We could see this before we leave. And it could happen and start everything right from there. Um, we could see this. We could see a bombing of a mosque, or, or we could see the Dome of the Rock being bombed. We could see something when we leave. It says, the Bible says Damascus falls. Well, if something like this happened, they're already enraged over there in uh, the Middle East. Where is that? Right here. They already are enraged over in the Middle East of what's going on in Gaza. Now, if something could happen um, with the Dome of the Rock got, got bombed or something because... The Temple Mount, they have to build the Temple Mount where the Dome of the Rock is. Somehow a Dome of the Rock has to be gone. So something could happen at this effect. This is just my speculation. And then all, all heck break loose with this right here. That's just my opinion. And then I did hit, may have this right here. This is what was in that right here in that eye right here. It's almost like it was upside down. Maybe you're looking at it upside down. Let's see right here right here it's almost upside down but it is right there so that's what i'm looking for um like i said if you wanna i will uh you know if you wanna hit if you aren't on facebook like i said i just i just opened this recently send, send me a friend request and that way if you have something, this is just another way to communicate. Um, like I said, I've been having people send me emails. Um, I have had friends just give me information like right now, prayer requests, anything like that. Just message me. I just set this up. It's kind of like we're out of here, but I thought, well, I'll do it anyway. So anyway. carry on from here my next part of my video so this is the stuff that i'm looking for i'm looking for maybe something to be bombed before we get out of here i know israel has been bombed um but something could happen bible says damascus and and babylon are destroyed so actually the bible says and it does say as babylon that i have showed before so it's almost like Damascus falls first. Damascus is pretty beat up right now. But Israel could, if something like this happened, um, Israel could shoot a warning shot. Who knows? But we will watch. So this is the first part of my video. The next part of my video is about... Um, um, it's about the... Uh, it's about us, and uh, like I said, I'm going to go over that right now, and this will be the second part of my video. Love you all. I hope you're all doing well, and I know we're all tired. That's another reason why I uh, I started this Facebook page up, because I'm pretty beat. I mean, we all are. All my friends are, and uh, I started this up because um keep my mind on working instead of just 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 doing things so anyway hope you're all doing well and uh like i said i'll carry on from here the next part of my video yes i'm going to carry on from my other video here this is the rest of my video what this is about it's the bride and the bridegroom video i talked about leia was not respected she was she was it says hated she was hated um the lord heard her cries it's just like i feel the same as us I have told my friends that it's kind of like we're Joseph, and I, that's what I'm talking about in this video. Like we're Joseph. Joseph's brother sold him into slavery. They didn't like what 
we were he was saying Joseph had dreams. They didn't like what he was saying in his dreams that he would be bowed down to. And I will show you in the Bible where it says this same pattern is going to happen again. As I have showed you before in Malachi chapter 3. This is us. We are talking together. All of us. We are collaborating together. We are fearing the Lord. We are waiting for him. It says down here, it says they will be mine. And it says then they shall return. So after we go, we return. As I said before, angel told me 10 days I'll be returning. This is in Daniel chapter 1. 10 days. After 10 days. Sanctify their servants. 10 days. It's in Daniel chapter 1. Daniel chapter 1, they were in the fire. The Lord was with them and nothing happened to them. Same scenario. Same scenario. It also says after three years, my three years are up. And I have explained that before. So, right here. In Daniel chapter 12, it says... Many will shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they shall turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Right here, they will they will return. They this is I believe that's what this means too. This I'll also show you. This is in Isaiah chapter sixty. Right here, we could be getting all the people that are in the book. Right here, we could be getting all the people in the book. We could be harvest workers getting everyone that's written in the book. Jesus is going to take his. If you're written in the book, he's going to take you. But this is when we return from the wedding. Now let's go over Isaiah 60. Isaiah 60. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. See? But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory. Another reason why I wanted to have this is because there's going to be darkness over the earth when we leave. I have seen this in dreams. It was dark. I have stated that before. I thought the power would be out. I have stated this. So this is saying that it's going to be darkness right here. Gross darkness. We will shine. He shall be seen upon thee, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about and see, all they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together. And thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee. The dromedaries of Midian and Ephah, all they from Sheba, shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebaioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as a cloud, and as the doves to their windows? Surely the isles shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish first, to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish, yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Right there, 
as it says right here. It says right here, you'll judge right here. It says you'll judge between those that serve God and those that don't. Right here. Right here, judge. They shall return and discern they that the righteous and the wicked serveth God and serveth him not. Right there. Exactly what it said. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. There you go. Bending on knees, just like Joseph. The ones that afflict you, the ones that have been, uh, as it says in uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, says they mock and scoff, you know, they, they mock and scoff you. And all they that despised thee shall bow themselves down at the... They despise you. I mean, I, I have family members that, uh, you know, they, 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 they pretty much, you know, like I said, you, you know what I'm talking about. Souls of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency. A joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For there you go. Okay, I'm going to stop it there, but you get the point. Um, yes, this is where I'm going to end my video. I'm going to splice this in together. Jesus said this in Luke 14. He says, What king goes to war against another king and sitteth not first and consult whether he be able to, with 10,000, to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000? This is Jesus talking. He talked about this in Luke 14. He was talking about himself. What king goes to war with another king? He was talking about himself. This is what this is all about. You're not just going to be sitting eating bonbons in heaven. You could be taking care of children in heaven. You'll have a job to do right here. This is his kingdom he's building right here. Then he says right here. talks about it i have said this before i made a whole video about this it's right here luke 14 about the wedding supper i have made a video on that luke chapter 12 which is as i showed you in 60 says blessed is the servant whom when he comes findeth him doing so it says truth i say unto you i will make him ruler over all that he hath Okay, it says right here, Who is the wise and faithful steward, whom the Lord shall make ruler over all his household, to give them a portion of meat in due season? I believe this right here is just like what I showed you. They will be bowing down to you just like Joseph did. Uh, Joseph, his family members, they mocked him, sold him into slavery. They, they, they treated him horribly. But you will, you will, like I said, this is what I believe will happen. This is what I believe. And this is all through the Bible. Now let's go to this right here. Like I said, I'm going to end my video here. But, so yeah, I mean, it is, we are exhausted. We don't want anything to do with this world. Um, we are, we are just visitors here. We were called in, it says, it's all through the Bible. I've said this, Pro, Proverbs chapter eight, blessed is he that sit waiting at the gate, waiting at the gate, Proverbs chapter eight. So yeah, like I said, right here, high watch, you know, I'm watching every, all these, these next two weeks, but, uh, I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to end my video right here.
And uh, like I said, as we wait together, I hope you're all doing well. And feel free to message me on Facebook, message me on email, leave a comment down below. Um, I hope you're all doing well.